How you doing? September 11th is right around the corner. I'll never forget that day as long as I live. I remember when I heard the news, the first three people I thought of was my wife, my son, and my mother. I'll never forget that. And what do you think the people, the passengers were, were feeling? They're texting, what were they doing? They were texting, calling, trying to get a hold of the people they love, knowing that their life was gonna end in a period of minutes. Relationship is one of the reasons we're here. We're here to be in relationship. We're here to cultivate relationship. And I gotta tell you this uh, process that I created thanks to Garrett White, the warrior guy. Oh my gosh, it's been, I, I mean, I've tried for years to create this awesome morning ritual for myself. And many of you that have watched part two and part one of my video series on my four core power hour, you get it. I um, just had had a lot of success being constant, consistent with meditating and my devotion. And um, gosh, over the last several months, I've just really nailed it and it's changed my life. I, my life is starting to really, really rock and get better and better and better. And so the third part of my four core power hour is all about relationships. It's all about how I cultivate relationships. And um, Gary had a really good spin on it. You know, what he talked about is that that 15 minutes really is about devoting time to people. And I actually have a list. I actually have a list of people that are really important to me. They're my tribe and I am constantly going through that list and during that 15 minutes, I'm texting them, I'm reaching out to them. So I'm gonna start off by, by sharing a few of my affirmations. And what I did is I, I, I wrote affirmations for every one of these four core areas. I wrote affirmations around my health, which you've heard before, if you've been tuning in. I wrote affirmations around my faith, I wrote affirmations around my relationships, and I wrote affirmations around my business. So here's a few. My relationship with, with my son is closer than ever before. My love for him goes deep. Quinn is my accountability. My greatest gift to him is modeling the greatest rendition of myself. My mom has been my rock and greatest inspiring cheerleader. I show love and acceptance to my 80-year-old mother in every experience and remember that listening is what she really appreciates from me. I have a list of peeps, all my peeps, loved ones and friends, and during the 15 minutes of my power hour on relationships, I pray over my friends and family. I send text messages to a few every day, inspiring them and sharing my appreciation for the relationship. I'm a light for others, reminding them of who they are and what they are capable of. I'm becoming the man, this is really vulnerable, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it out, I'm becoming the man, I am becoming the man God intended me to be and will be blessed with my ideal partner that I will love and cherish. All my life experiences and challenges have blessed me with the perspective to make changes that I will attract the woman that I will love, honor, and cherish. Yeah, if you don't know I'm divorced, I'm divorced. Uh, the good news is I have great relationships with my exes, go figure. All right. Every week, I plan two to three experiences with friends to create moments that take my breath away. I have an incredible tribe of friends, business partners, and clients that I honor, respect, and bless with my belief in them, friendship, and love. I focus on listening, being present, and curious in my conversations. So I spend this 15 minutes reviewing my list. Yes, I have a list. I pray over my tribe. I ask God uh, what relationship needs my attention. And then I just simply go with what my heart says to do. Sometimes I'll send them some inspiration. Sometimes I'll send them an acknowledgement. Sometimes I'll ask them questions. So I just had no idea the impact this would make in my life. And if you want more of this, let's do it. Let's make a decision right now. For the next three days, you are gonna cultivate your relationships first thing in the morning. Take it on. If you're in, just say I'm in, post I'm in. And if you want more, join the Body Temple Movement. That's what this is. Join me on Facebook. There's so much coming up. You have no idea what's coming up. This is just the beginning. You can join the Body Temple Movement by going to facebook.com, Body Temple, 
LLC. Have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.